What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So stretch resolution is one of those topics in Fortnite that I always seem to find questions about. So that's why in today's video what I'll be doing is covering all of your questions about stretch resolution in Fortnite. This video is going to include what stretch resolution is, why you might want to consider using it, a few examples of different resolutions you might want to consider using, and at the end I'll also be doing a brief tutorial on how to actually set it up. If this video helps you out then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. As as well as that, consider using code TECO in the item shop as it's 100% free and it really helps me out a ton. Thank you so much to everyone who's using it, of course. But with that said and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So starting off this video, I want to begin by giving a very brief explanation of stretch resolution for those of you who might not know. And basically, stretch resolution is exactly what it sounds like. It simply means using a different resolution and fitting it to your screen, and this causes your game to stretch out and look different. Stretch resolution first gained popularity, if I remember correctly, in around season 6 of chapter 1, because at the time it actually caused you to have more field of view, basically meaning you could see more things around you, which made an enormous difference in competitive gameplay. Although this got patched later on, stretch resolution is still a somewhat popular thing in Fortnite, and you're still going to find a lot of players using stretch resolution even though it doesn't technically give you a competitive advantage. So you may be wondering by this point, why would I use stretch resolution if it no longer gives a direct competitive advantage? And for this, I have three different reasons. The first reason that you might want to use stretch resolution for is actually because it gives you an FPS boost. Basically, it causes less pixels to be on your screen, meaning your graphics card has less stuff to render. For example, the classic 1920 by 1080 resolution has about 2.1 million pixels on your screen. And those pixels have to be rendered every single frame, adding up to an absolute boatload of work for your device. If you were to use stretch resolution though, for example, a stretch resolution of 1680 by 1080, this resolution only has 1.8 million pixels, meaning it's basically going to theoretically boost your FPS by around 14%. That may not sound like a ton on the surface, but it's basically a 10 to 30 frame difference depending on your current frame rate. The second reason you may want to use stretch resolution is a bit more subjective and that's the look. Honestly, there's not really that much to say here. Some people actually enjoy stretch resolution because they think it looks better than the native ones, but ultimately it'll really just come down to your preference. And the third and final reason you may want to try stretch resolution is for the player size. Basically on stretch resolution, any player that you run into on your screen is going to appear larger and they take up more space in your overall field of view. And what many players find is that this tiny little difference actually makes it way easier for them to hit shots. It's mostly placebo since your resolution doesn't actually change your opponent's hitboxes, but it's true that some players are simply more confident hitting their shots with a stretch resolution, so that's something to consider if you're going to give it a try. So getting into the interesting part of today's video, and in this section of the video, what we're going to be doing is going over the best resolutions to use. In this section, I'll be going over four different resolutions in order of how stretched they are, and I'll basically just be giving a brief explanation and discussion about each one. And of course, I'll have gameplay of each one in the background. And hopefully with the information I give, you can get a good idea for what resolutions you want to consider trying out in your own gameplay. So starting off this section, the first resolution we're going to be going over is 1800 by 1080. Now this resolution is our most mild on this list. And as you can probably tell from my background gameplay, there's really not too much of a difference between the regular gameplay and 1800 by 1080. It's a very mild and subtle change, but it's perfect for people who want to get a slight FPS boost and maybe just want to mix things up a bit without straying too far away from how the game usually looks. I think this resolution is really good specifically for those types of players or even for like content creators like myself who often use clips of themselves and don't want their game to look like absolute garbage. I guess I shouldn't say absolute garbage, but obviously a more stretch resolution is going to look more distorted, which might not be good for most viewers. I personally don't use a stretch resolution in my gameplay, but I think this would be the one that I would select simply due to those reasons, especially the content creator one. Moving on to our second resolution in this video though, and next up we're going to be going over 1680 by 1080 1680 by 1080 is actually the resolution I was discussing at the start, and I find this to be one of the most common resolutions in the current days of Fortnite. It's not too heavy of a stretch where your game looks really weird, but it's also not too mild where you can hardly tell your screen is actually stretched. Honestly, I would say that 1680 is probably going to be the best resolution for the majority of you guys watching, simply due to the fact that it's going to give you a respectable FPS boost, make things appear larger, and it won't distort your game too much, especially to the point where it gets hard to really decipher everything and it just looks crazy. Overall though, 1680 is a fantastic option. Moving on to resolution number 3 though, and next up we'll be going over a bit of a more stretchy stretch resolution, and this is going to be 1560 by 1080 This resolution is starting to get into extra stretchy stretch territory, and I personally find this to be nearing the limit for most players. It's true that 1560 by 1080 will give you a notable FPS boost and make things appear much larger on screen, but with this resolution, you begin to really notice the field of view getting smaller, which can make it a lot less applicable to pack situations. 
such as the ones you find in big fights or in endgame scrims and tournaments. As well as that, although this is pretty subjective, unless you're really into that stretch resolution aesthetic, I doubt most players will want to see this intense of a resolution while they play. But with that said, if you do really like the look of stretch resolution and you find the other benefits worth it, then 1560 is definitely another option to consider. And getting into our fourth and final resolution for this video, and we'll be going over 1440 by 1080. 1440 by 1080 is a resolution that I find very few regular players using, simply for the fact that it's significantly distorted and although it can have its benefits, I really don't find this resolution to be viable for most players who don't love the stretch resolution look and don't need the big FPS boost in reducing the number of pixels. As you can see on the screen right now, it kind of just starts to look distorted and a little bit more weird. There are certain situations where this resolution could be totally viable, but I think that's mostly reserved for players who really love it a lot. Overall, I think this is still a viable option, but 1440 is definitely pushing it for the average player in Fortnite. So with that said guys, that's going to wrap it up for our four resolutions in this video. On screen, I'll go ahead and put a comparison of all four different resolutions and how they look in regular gameplay. My personal sweet spot is probably somewhere around 1680 by 1080 and maybe down to 1560. I think about 75% of you guys will also find yourselves in that range and maybe about 25% might find yourselves going towards the 1440 or 1800 options. As well as that, I do find the ones that I covered to be the best resolution since obviously I'm promoting them, but you can also consider other options such as even more extreme resolutions like 1280 by 1080 or you might even find some creators promoting different vertical axes as well as horizontal. A couple of those include 1560 by 1060, 1680 by 1050, 1550 by 1050, and you also have some lower resolutions like 1024 by 768 as well as 924 by 648 for those of you who are on lower end PCs. So getting into the last bit of today's video and what I want to do is briefly cover how to actually set up stretch resolution just in case some of you don't know. I personally use an Nvidia graphics card so this might not apply to every single one of you guys watching but it should be helpful for most of you and there are other tutorials out there for other cards such as AMD. The process is actually really simple though, simply head to your desktop, right click and open your NVIDIA control panel. From there select customize, create custom resolution, and then type in your resolution from there. From there you just test it and you save it if it's all good. And then after you save it you're going to have to go back to that resolution onto the custom tab and select it again. And then you should be on the resolution. Then for the second part you're going to want to head to your file explorer, type percent app data percent. Then you'll want to go back and go to local, go to Fortnite games, saved, config, Windows client, and then game user settings. From there, you're going to have to scroll down a little bit, but you'll eventually find an area where your resolution is listed four times. As you can see, I have that highlighted on screen. And all you got to do from there is go to all these and switch them all to your preferred resolution, as you can see me doing in the footage. Once you've done that, simply close out your control panel and game user settings, launch Fortnite, and you should be all set with your new resolution. And if you ever want to switch to a new resolution or revert back to your original one, all you've got to do is simply repeat the same exact process for the file explorer, and if it's the native resolution, then you'll find it listed in the NVIDIA control panel. Or if it's a new resolution, you can simply create a new custom resolution as we did and you should be all set. And lastly guys, a lot of you might go through that process and notice that you have black bars on your screen instead of having it stretched. Luckily, the solution is super simple. Just head back into your control panel, go to the adjust desktop size and position tab, and then select the full screen scaling mode instead of aspect ratio or no scaling. And by doing that, you should have no more issues with black bars. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best stretch resolutions in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 and future seasons. Stretch resolution can be a bit of a complex topic to learn, but hopefully this video covered everything you'll need to know about it in order to decide whether or not you want to use it, as well as which exact resolution you should use if you decide to give it a shot. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. As well as that, consider using code TECHO in the item shop if you're not doing so already. It's 100% free for you and it really helps me out a bunch. With that said though, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.